landed in Ireland on the 25th. 25th, yep. 25th. The great thing, greatest thing ever. We landed got no bags. <laughs> Our names were over the bags. loudspeaker, <laughs> and we were like, oh, great, cool. We're going to have someone holding the sign, all this yeah. kind of stuff. Maybe like a giant limo to take us to wherever we were going. <laughs> And nope, it was just to tell us your bags are still in New York. Yeah, so we didn't get our bags. For the and, first day and uh, a half. We didn't have our wetsuits or our boards, and we had to ride the first day we got here. Yeah. We had to ride with our underwear on, so therefore the next day we were underwear on. And, and sockless, because the sock just smelled too bad, so we had to throw them out. Because so, it was just like. Uh, it was probably a tad bit different. It was. Here. And then we didn't get our luggage till the next day, like at 7, seven o'clock at night. We slept all day. Yeah, we, we slept did. for 18 hours. 18 hours straight. 6 p.m. Got up, had a coffee. And shot James. at Jameson. And uh, we got right to it. Yeah, came down a little, a little, demo. A little demo right after we got our boards. Yeah. This mobile cool. flow rider is the best mobile flow rider ever. You got your hair cut. You got your hair did. Was see? that that day? Yeah, the same day. You got That's that hair day. did. Yeah, I got my hair did by Colin. Thanks, Colin. Yeah. He cut my hair. This guy got, got a massage party. on his back with hot yeah. stones. I got a nice hot stone massage. Felt voluptuous. Oh yeah. We ate at Raglan Roads. Yeah. The Irish. It was pretty bomb. There's a nice little pub over there next to the Grand. Yeah. Thanks, Irene, for letting us in. Yeah, thank you. We had some local surfers. And uh, Martin. Martin yeah. took a surfing bright and early, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. and it does not get light out here until like <laughs> 8 o'clock. It was, it was quite was... a trip. They took us uh, over to the Sand Dunes, which is one of the good spots. And, it only goes off a couple times a year, and what do you know? Yeah, Sean treaded the gnar, I just paddle waves, around, and made life. On the left hander, down at the end of the, like, would you, at the end of, like, the end of the there, yeah, down there. on the sandbar. Over on yonder. Over yonder. Uh, surfing everyone's laughing not having fun we're hiking back through the farm fields and we're almost at the cars probably 20 feet away from the cars this guy decides to hop over the fence the locals decided to be funny not to tell us that there are electric fences to keep the cows uh, in they said that they told me but uh, I, don't well, I didn't hear them tell us either that, that so he hops over and the electric fence got him right in the balls shocked him Four twice times. and then that wasn't enough, we're all laughing, fun games, but he jumped back over to the wrong side, so he had to hop over again, and as he tried to go over again, one of the other local guys, Liam, decided to kick the fence up into him, so he got shocked again. Ah! I'm scared now. Come on, jump over. I gotta keep shit. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Ow! Is that what a taser feels like?
Hi, my name's Eric Silverman. And I'm Sean Samara. Keep, Keep on shredding. shredding.